first Lessons from the Field seminar took place in 2006. From the beginning, the purpose has been to disseminate cutting-edge information that reflects relevant research and best practices. Our role at the University of Minnesota Extension's Children, Youth, and Family Consortium is to provide opportunities for researchers and professionals to come together and share knowledge and work to close the research and practice gap. Researchers translate their work in many ways that are accessible and relevant, and community professionals share their experiences, expertise, and reflect on research gaps. We've covered various topics over the years, depending on current needs and participant interests, and resiliency is a theme that emerges each time we talk about fostering children's mental health and well-being. Before I start with my work, we, we describe this when this program started as lessons from the field for the field. So I'm really delighted that we have such an extraordinary panel who are all doing work that you and the audience are doing. And the question and answer hopefully is to just keep pushing our practices so that we get more and more effective and efficient and satisfied. Um, the second is, um, Stuart was a dear friend and mentor. He worked with me on developmental repair. And he and his colleague, Joe Allen, who is also an extraordinary man down at the University of Virginia, um, wrote this book. Uh, Stuart wrote the book after 40 years of longitudinal research with following teens. Um, he got involved with my developmental repair project and really helped me see that um, what I was trying to develop was a project about resilience. And that word you're going to hear a lot about today, resilience. We can't change children's pasts, but we can influence their capacity to have a present and a future. Community says that everything I do will affect someone. And culture says to you, I must carry forward, even if it's pain, those things that have become tradition and habit and practice carry it forward, I have to examine it at this point. The reason it becomes intellectual is because I have to examine it, think about it, be conscious of what I'm carrying forward. I say to my grandfather, now even, I carried forward the resiliency power. I'm not necessarily carrying forward the pain in the way you did but I'm carrying forward the beliefs that you had and the values that you had and that which you did to resolve the pain for yourself. How did you survive? How did you look in the face of the enemy and grin and bear it? What was that about? Where did it come from? I can talk about that because we're talking about culture and tradition and heritage. 